Referee will now give his instructions to the boxer. Okay, gentlemen, you both know the rules. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, God bless. Really interesting one, this. Step up on paper for Crocker. We've seen a bit of on ESPN Plus and IFL TV. He was on the October show in this very venue and last summer as well, where he had Kareem Alilish down in the very first round. There's no doubt that the croc has some snap and some bite. Plenty of people have been talking, Barry, about Crocker for quite some time. There is the, the feeling that his, his career maybe just simmering rather than boiling yet but maybe this is his year well, he's a, he's a, he, hasn't, he hasn't come up against any real test that people haven't could really beat him as such but he's come up against people who were durable and, and that's where you know i think he really i think yeah, he really carries power but he's had some guys who could who could take it and all the hold and, and run and, and survive and i think that's been a challenge for him he's not used to that so i think it's been good for his development that not everyone's been falling over every time he hits him Lovely left hand back from Crocker too. He's up against the, the guy in Thane who has been in with plenty of talented domestic rivals. Larry Ekendewu, uh, last time we saw him, that was uh, in July of 2018, so for the first time recently, he has been out of the ring for quite some time, but he's been up and down from, from Scotland, from Edinburgh, where he's done a bit of part-time cabin he'd do 12 hour shifts three nights in the trot bit of training while he's been up in edinburgh and then he'd be down for a couple of weeks to the raptors gym in sutton where he's been he did a bit of work last year with, with angel who of course was part of uh, aj's team for that ruiz rematch just a few months ago and he's been doing plenty of work as well john thane with wayne dudley down there in sutton and they've been waiting for an opportunity tonight. It presents itself, and he's, and he's non-stop with the movers, isn't he? Thing you can see why he doesn't really get any stoppages because he's always on the balls of his feet. Never pants his feet long enough to really get an atrocious on the shots, but it also makes him a hard target to hit clean. He's yeah. a crock and he's a bit of patience. Well, I think he might need that tonight. Thing can box. He saw that went the 12 rounds with Ekin Day, and he went the 12 rounds, Barry. You were. You and I were there, commentated yes. on that in Brentford, where he challenged for the, the British title. That came at only four weeks' notice against Bradley Skeet, who at that time in Britain was just about unbeatable at 147. No, he was. I mean, no, Dane always puts up a good, a good show. He just I mean, Inactivity is always a problem um, as your career goes on, and he has been maybe as active enough, but this might be a fight for him where he can show he's still got something left. And almost all of it through no fault of his own a little bit of a niggling back in June 2017 which kept kept him out but there were sort of promises of, of opportunities last year there was, there was talk of him maybe going to, to fight in the Philippines and, and that didn't quite unfold into round two then scheduled for eight as Thane has been that 12 rounds on numerous occasions it was a good little thing there from Thane but he needed to throw back then he just made Croc a pause for a second, but then didn't, didn't utilise that movement and then stayed in the corner and wouldn't be able to throw any shots. A good right handle there from Thane. Well, he's so long and tall, of course. Barry, when you, call, you and I called so many of his early uh, fights a few years ago, that was at 154 pounds. He actually stepped down more recently to 147. He was sturdy, of course, at the higher weight, so I just. Just uh, be tough enough for Crocker tonight. That's better from Thane there, changing direction. Crocker needs to get a good shot from Crocker, lovely left hook. Yeah, he picked it well. Did, uh, he covered it though, Thane. I was just going to say, he just needs to stop the movement there. 
some time before the thing gets in a bit of a rhythm. It's like Crocker, when he throws that jab and he leans over to the right and gets nice and low, just to put that, that right glove in front of his chin just to block anything coming back. Just plays that right hand a little bit low there. Watch, uh, watch the shoulder there, Crocker. 10 and 0 for the six stop. Paduzzi, he's gone the distance his last three, hasn't he? And this, this fourth successive fight at the Ulster Hall. The last trio have all been over six rounds. They've all been points wins as well. But as Barry said, he's been in with some pretty tough guys. Alalish was that. That was on the wards. Conroy. Oh, one off. He was, he, was, he was a contender for fight of the year. We called that that night. Showed, showed it to you on ESPN Plus and IFL TV. What a corker that was. And Crocker was on the undercard. Good jab thing. Yeah, he's been nice and busy in this wrong thing. He's had plenty of success. The heavier shots have come from Crocker. And there's one there. That was a lovely combination. Yeah, I think he's worked, he's worked the ladder there with those body shots and the right hand to finish it off. I think he got a bit peeved with those jabs that kept peppering him, Crocker, and in the end he, he fought back with a bit of his own. And, and that's the problem you have against a guy who's a puncher and a non-puncher. The thing's been the busier and landing with more shots, but then when Crocker lets his hands go, the quality and the, and the, the purchase of the punches you know, far outweighs anything that that thing has been doing. Yeah, from Crocker, there's a little bit of head movement coming forward. Kind of slow thing down with some body shots, but he can't quite get close enough to to make that pay. Just seeing it, nothing to do with the fight, just seeing it ringside there. Cal Frant to talk to Sean O'Hagan, who of course is Josh Warrington, the IBF featherweight champion of the world's father. They were involved in one of the fights of one of the best fights I've ever been ringside. Well, that fight beat and picked. Ward Conroy for did, yeah, fight yeah. of the year, yeah, so two of them. In, in the UK. In the UK, yeah, absolutely, that's what we were just talking about. Here, we've already had one spicy start to the night with Davy Oliver Joyce overcoming Lee Haskins by injury ultimately after four rounds and Haskins announcing his retirement on the back of that, what a career he's had. John Thane looking to bounce back tonight and Lewis Crocker looking to take the next step along the way in his young career. Just 23 he was recently. Got to keep edging forward with that, with that front foot there, no. Crocker, even if he's not doing work, just make Thane feel the pressure and that's all with the footwork. And we're talking about Carl Frampton who's ringside. Do a little bit of what Carl Frampton does. We're, He'll, he'll, move that, he'll move the hands from them, but he'll nick the space with the front foot, and he's on you. And I think someone like Crocker, who looks to stalk, that's, a, that's a, maybe something he can emulate. Oh, slashing right hand to the, the body. He's starting to close the gap now, Crocker, and he's throwing with a, a bit of intention too. a nice bit of patience here Crocker but I think now it's time to put a bit more pressure here on Thane if, if he's able good Thane I mean, even he's missing with some of those jabs he's, he keeps throwing them enough just to maybe can get a little turn on the foot and get out, the, get out of trouble oh he is loading up now isn't he Crocker just missing with that right hand there John Thane This is just doesn't stop moving, does he? Constantly. If the feet are still, the upper body's moving. Maybe Crocker's come into this round unconcerned about, about what it is that's coming his, his way. The, the, the jab getting through the end of the second round, but he really has planted his feet and shown a bit of intent in this third. And be careful now, Crocker, that's twice on you know, very short space of time. He's been worn there for that elbow, that shoulder. A little bit of blood, I think, from the nose of Thane too in this round. Nice little combination there from Crocker, but then just loading up a little bit too much. He's still nice and relaxed. Enjoying himself, though, Thane. He's sort of almost commentating on the action there as some of those big shots were whizzing past his ear. Yeah. 
Just getting a bit of that worth remembering, of course, Lewis Cock is stepping up to eight rounds for the first time tonight. But the way he's gone about things in the third and now in the start of this fourth round, he's not worried about the distance, he's starting to up the tempo. That's Beth Cock there, a little bit of a wider stance, he's just using it up front foot a little bit closer. Never been stopped, John Thane. Actually, he was telling me last night, Barry spoke to him on the phone for about an hour and a half. He was as engaging and honest as, as ever he is. But he's saying he actually, three or four weeks before the Ekendeo fight, he actually broke his nose. He went into that fight oh. carrying that injury. He said every, every time a, a shot landed on it, it was pure agony. So, and he went 12 rounds with Ekendeo. He's only lost once. And you were saying he's foolish? Oh. Just made Crocker miss Wally there, thing. You say it'd be foolish to take that fight, but went, oh, a lovely shot there from Crocker. Lovely left uppercut. A little response there from Thane, not a lot on the shots, but he's still trying to see, stay busy. Crocker's loading up on the big shots now, still the, the blood just seeping from the nose of Thane. But, uh, he's sort of mentioning it as a, as a sort of illustration of, of Thane's toughness. He, he's got the sort of... He's oh, got yeah. those fair sort of pretty boy features, hasn't he? But he's a he's a tough lad. The jab there from Thane. You know, Crocker you know, can't throw too many shots because obviously he's looking to looking for power in those punches and. Through in combinations, you'll lack a little bit of spite, but maybe these single shots he can be more effective if he just, if he just throws in twos. These little combinations just to put Thane in a little bit more pressure. Start cutting the ring off with that front foot and just trying to trap him in the corner and then go to work. And again, Thane's had a, a really good minute or so, hasn't he? Just behind the jab, landing lots of jabs, nothing much more but jabs. A nice jab there, though, from Crocker. Yeah. A faint now for Crocker. A little, uh, I'd, I'd do a real big stab with the front foot and then throw that left hook. Intent and some of those shots from Crocker, no doubt about it. Dead on the scorecards as we move past halfway into the fifth. Again, Fain throws, he throws the feint there, Fain, but did nothing with it. You, you throw the feint, you either got to move or throw. See what I mean? He throws the feint there, but keep holds his feet, stays in the corner. And, you know, the, it's just a waste of movement. You've got to be faint when he's in the corner. You've got to pivot off or, or throw a combination and then get out of the trouble. And the, the way that Crocker has gone about it the last three rounds, he has fought as, a, as though he feels he's not got anything to worry about. But you've got, no, you got no respect or worry about what's coming back from Crocker, from Thane, sorry, as Lewis Crocker. It's sort of so close to opportunities over the last couple of years. Thane, it's a, a been a real test, I think, of his, his character. Relying on a sort of family and friends, and I think his own fortitude. There's opportunities that supposedly in the Philippines he, he almost had a chance on the GGG Derevenchenko bill, and that never materialized as well. That he kept sort of grinding away and hoping that something would come up. Oh, what a yeah. shot! Clever there from Crocker as well, but no one said break. We were impressed with Crocker when we saw him last year. Barry, you, you can see in, in glimpses why people are sort of getting excited about him. Yeah, no, 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 he shows a good bit. He's not panicking, he's not loading up either. That's, that's better than, than I've seen in the past. Sometimes because he has power, he's really trying to load up and, and go full out, and he's been a little bit scrappy at times, but he's been nice and neat in this fight. But again, they've given another pole and do who's not only a good fight, but a very, very durable fighter, and a guy who doesn't stop moving, so... 
He's knocking Jones to knock over Jones to build up the stats. Yeah, he had those stoppages early on. Uh, six stoppages in a row, and now he's gone the, the distance four on the bounce as he lands another left hand. Yeah, good couple of right hands off from Thane as well there. But again, they just lack the power there to really put Cocker under pressure or even earn any respect from Cocker, to be honest. Crocker. Okay, he doesn't over telegraph in some of these shots here, Crocker. I think he's a little disguised in some of his work. Just a little look up to the balcony there from Crocker. Just snatch him with the jab there, thing. That's maybe a sign that he's felt a little bit of a bit of power there from Crocker. That's maybe troubled him slightly. Crocker, Northern Irishman, in the black and red. The left hook from Crocker. And generally, you've got a, a guy who can, who can box, who can move. Barry, what are the, the things you can do maybe to, to close the gap, to well, get again, closer to him? It's always with the feet, so we're cutting the ring off, taking that step to the side, or you've got to, you've just got to not, rather than follow him around, just use the footwork there to engineer him where you want him to be. Good shot. But again, I think he needs to just maybe just start putting his pushes together in combinations now, Crocker. He's done him some good shots, but I think, think the singular shot's got thing to take the shot. He rides the shot quite well, and I just think it was harder for a good shot there from Crocker, though. Just harder for him to, to ride every shot that he's thrown in, in combinations. Yeah, it was one of the first times that Thane let go with the right hand, and Crocker immediately latched onto that. Had a counter of his own. Again, the, the, the ethics good, the work ethics good from from Thing. He's trying to be busy, trying to push Crocker back a little bit here now, but he needs to get a bit more purge, just push off that back leg when he does that right hand, a bit more. A little more talk from the hips. Oh, good right hand. That's stick right under the elbow of Thane. You can see he's got Good a there. sharp punch on him, Crocker. It's good again there, one thing. He has, but he's, he hasn't been as busy in this run, has he, Crocker? The pair of them just sharing a laugh. It's the final minute. Just maybe getting a little bit frustrated, Crocker. Well, I don't think it's for, he's got into a rhythm. And I just think, you know, he needs just, he needs just change it. He's winning, he's winning the fight, clearly. He needs to maybe just change it a little bit more. Just do a little bit more, more it's a bit more urgency some of his work. Just get those combinations flowing. Looks like he's got plenty left in the tank as well, didn't he, Parker? to show a little bit of style if he can. Here we go then, into the seventh round. New territory is a pro for Crocker. But he's, he's looked very much controlled and within himself in terms of the pace throughout so far. What you, what you get from Payne every time is an honest approach. That's who, that's who he is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it really is. Who he is. Actually, t tell me, Barry, he, um, as, as an 18-year-old, a pal of his, Jason Hastie, told me they were they were going up to Meadow Bank to, to spar Alex Arthur, and he, he asked if he could go along, and he, he actually took his kit bag with him, as you would. <laughs> <laughs> and as it turned out, he got to spar Alex Arthur oh, wow. that day as well. And Arthur, of course, world champion for Scotland, oh, class good. act. Yeah, good left hook there from Crocker. 
Not for a young kid, that must be phenomenal. Apparently Josh Taylor sparred Arthur when he was 15, 16 or thereabouts. <laughs> Alex had to be at home taking credit now for, <laughs> <laughs> for everyone's career, yeah. Good fight, I suppose though, it and, should, a, and a nice guy as well. But it shows you, you know, whatever the city, whatever the country around the world, there is a kind of brotherhood of boxing. Yeah, there, there is, of course, yeah, and you remember things like that for the rest of your life. Started his, his career as an amateur with Stevie Simmons, actually, down at Leith Book, Victoria, John Thane, whose Filipino heritage comes from his mother's side, his, his mum, Rizalina. Not only in some buzz if that sort of Filipino connection had paid off for him last yeah. year. Probably doubly frustrating that it didn't. Happy enough though the, the way Crocker's gone about it, Barry? He's not that super relaxed. I think he's no, I think in some rounds he could have done a little bit more maybe, but you know, I think he, he started the fight off quite well and he looked nice and, and didn't rush his work like he did in the past, hasn't been loading up. And again, and he's up against a guy who can you know, take a good shot, can ride a really good shot, so he's not getting the, 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 the knockover jobs that some other punches get. Good shot. Right. And over the top from Crocker. It's good there from Thane. Good work. Good with head movement before he's with that right hand. You're trying to be a bit more positive, trying to stay closer to range. Will that present an opportunity for Crocker? He does paint there, that's what he did the paint there, Dave, when Crocker was looking to set him up with that right hand. gets through from Crocker at the start of the round. Oh, I think he's having an effect to these shots and then is forced to hang on. That was a huge right oh. hand. Still a steady on the legs there, Thane. Yeah. But he knew enough to hold on, but here's Crocker. Got to keep some sp space between them. The pair of a knock Crocker when he's letting his hands go. He nods across to his corner, thing, but he is in a bit of bother. And for the first time, really in his career, never mind in this fight, he's looking on unsteady legs. Oh, oh shot. And we know Crocker's a finisher, not of late. Nice little uppercut there from Crocker through the guard. Again, they know enough. He's not that experience there just to hold on, and it's the referee's job to break him. And all of that inside the first 45 seconds, still over a couple of minutes to go. Got to pick his shots here now, Crocker. Actually, the biggest test of... Thane's career, and he just nods almost to the balcony, to the skies, to himself, to, to folks and friends back home, to whoever. He just kind of nodded and he said, I'm all right, Thane. The first phase of the attack is when he was under the most pressure because he just dipped. I think the ropes half kept him up and just had just had enough, enough sense there, enough awareness just to grab hold of Crocker. That was a huge right hand that started it all off in the opening seconds of the round. And every second that goes by, maybe it just bides Thane a little longer. Showing a bit of grit and determination there, Thane, just to try and put Crocker under a bit of pressure here. And Crocker just needs to regroup here, he threw a lot of punches there. And having said how well Thane rides the punches, it's difficult to pin down, of course, <laughs> the commentators tee up the, the huge potential finish. Oh, the right hand there from Crocker, Miss Wildly with the left hook, but so confident to throw that right hand straight after and Thane showing again the good chin he has. Well, two minutes have gone by, a minor miracle that he's still here after the start of this round, Thane. It's going to be really hot, you know, can't be critical of Crocker, but I think, I mean, just got a little bit too close there, he let his hands go and that was good to see, but maybe just got a little bit too close and Thane was able to hold on, good right hand though from Crocker. Yeah, he timed it. Thane, Thane's aware, he, he's still alert and working on his defences, and I think he's back kind of on track, but there's always that menace, particularly with the right hand from Crocker. 20 seconds to go. Oh, right hand again from Crocker, that's his punch. 
See, he loads up so much with the left hook that you think that's the only shot he's going to throw, and then he then he whips that right hand over the top. Oh, shot! And it is the left hook this time that lands <laughs> it. A little scoosh of blood from the nose and mouth. Crocker lets out a, a battle cry at the end of it. He's won the fight convincingly, and with an exclamation mark at the end of the fight. But credit to John Thane, who's been out of the ring for nearly two years. It was a, a hellish reintroduction for him, and a tough one at that. And fair play to him for seeing that out. Well, he had to show all his durability in that last three minutes, there, and it was three minutes of Torrey the Boots there, wasn't it? From, from Lewis Crocker. Ooh, we said, you no, know, we said, you no, know, it'd be good if he could finish close to show with a bit of style. He did all he could in that last round. And I think a, a man of less, less a substance of, of John Thane, with either being on his back or looking for a way out, I've got to be honest, because he took some really good shots there off Crocker. And that was a great finish for Crocker, and overall then, a mature display by him, I thought. And it's a great name on his record as well. Oh, so lovely right hand there. You see the legs dip a little bit there, and the left hook as well. So he throws the left hook, he misses, but that right hand follows through, you think, he puts so much into that left hook, you think that's the only shot he's going to throw. And then he somehow gets on balance to throw that right hand. Good shot again, that was yeah. the last left hook of the fight yet. <laughs> Look at Thane, almost <laughs> he, he I actually co-commentated Barry when you were away one time last year in Glasgow. He did a, he did a terrible job. <laughs> <laughs> but he was almost commentating a couple yeah. of times through the fight as well. Great to see Thane here, the final belt. Great to see Crocker put on a performance. Let's get, let's get confirmation of it now with TK. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds, we go to the scorecards. Referee Paul McCullough scores the bout 79 points to 73 in favor of your winner, Lewis Crocker! Well, Lewis Crocker, I mean, I just told you off camera that was a tough one for me to watch because I've yeah. known John for so long, but again, your fitness is on you. You can do eight rounds easy, mm. you wouldn't even breathe in hard, but. Mm. Is there a small part of you that's disappointed that you're not getting these stoppages like you did in the early part of your career? I mean, that, that does more for me than what I established in the first or second round does. Do you know what I mean? I felt good there and they're the, they're the fights that I want. And do you know what I'm saying? The better opposition, the better I'm going to perform as well. Um, and I'm only starting a year off of a new camp with Dee Wallace and stuff. So I'm them I'm feeling good and feeling fit and everything went well there and I'm looking forward to the next fight. What's it like fighting this in Belfast, your home mm -hmm. set? I mean, uh, you must get a right buzz out of it, do you? Mate, that was class, you know, because uh, I'm a bit more up in the car this time as well, and the atmosphere was different as well, so I was thriving off it as well. I mean, I, I really enjoyed that. It was uh, definitely my, my biggest win of my career, like, and I felt good there. As you just mentioned, that it's the biggest win of your mm -hmm. career. John's been in, in the ring with uh, Bradley Skeet, former mm -hmm. British champion, Larry Akindale, mm -hmm. IBF European champion. You're now 10 and 0. Mm -hmm. 11. 11 and 0, sorry. <laughs> well, I'll get it right up. There's too many players for me to remember. You're 11 and 0 now. Um, I mean, are these guys like Bradley Ski, these sort of level fighters, and Larry Ekin Dow, are these the fights you want as soon as possible? I wouldn't say as soon as possible, but you know, in the future and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, when I started off my career, I was looking up to these people and still do, quality, quality fighters and stuff. So uh, I turned 23 and started January there. So it's all. Just only 23 still? I just turned 23 oh, last geez, month there. So. The same first day around there of my career felt good and stuff so still building experience and getting uh, better opponents each time and you know who knows by the end of the year maybe get uh, some sort of title maybe john you said there as well it was tough mm -hmm. in that eighth round there was a moment in that fight when you were hitting him to the body and ripping these big huge mm -hmm. shots in him that you thought i'm gonna get him out of here because john john's never been stopped before i know yeah and i did come pretty, or pretty close to it and stuff um but he, he was smart uh, the head, you know, like uh, when I was like trying the big shots and stuff, and I was just slightly missing, so I didn't want to look uh, over aggressive and stupid and stuff. So um, I was trying to set up the body and then, you know, bring it up the head. But John's obviously a quality fighter and um, very experienced, so uh, he, was, he was smart in there. So, what is next for you then? I mean, you're not mm -hmm. like every time I talk to you, you've got a smile on your face, you're just you're <laughs> so humble, you're relaxed. Mm -hmm. Like you just take every day as it comes, it seems, yeah. but as a fighter, there must be a part of you that's like, right, I'm done, I want this fight, mm -hmm. I've done eight rounds, I want this title, I, is, mm -hmm. is there a part of you that's wanting it now, as you got the hunger for it right now? This was a different fight that I've mm -hmm. ever um, came up to, you know, like, I'd be so relaxing on last night, I was like thinking about the fight and stuff, and so it was like, I was different this time, do you know what I mean, it was a different, I knew about how to be on my A game and stuff, and I felt it, like I felt good, so 
Uh, the big fights in Miami, I'm looking forward to you. I don't want to call anybody out or anything. I'll leave that down See, the See, that's where I want you to. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know you do. I know you do. And, uh, I'll leave that down the MTK. Do you know what I mean? Course, Respect yeah. all the old boxers. Uh, again, the division as well, you, like I said, you're only 23, so you, you're mm. not going to rush, are you? Not at all. You, you, know, you still feel like you're still sort of learning and progressing in the fights? Absolutely, man. I'm nowhere mm. near um, peak in the slightest. Do you know what I mean? Um, I, I would say that's 30% of where I could be easy so you know who knows in the next few years because I'm still, I'm, still, I'm still building you know each win um, getting rounds on the belt take camp by camp the way they are and leave down the MTK better the fight better the opponent the better Lewis Crocker we're going to see I said that at the press conference and I believe um, that's what's going to happen as well next time I won't keep you much longer I'm gonna, I would not, normally I'll rattle names off at you if you call <laughs> out but I'm going to leave it there Jab but again, thank you, well done <laughs> cheers on a great win tonight and uh, look forward to the next one appreciate it thank you mate. thank you